Hi everyone and welcome to today's Thank Card It's Friday. Today, instead of a card, I'll be showing you how to make a box with using your envelope punch board. This is one I made for a friend and I've made her an actual um, headband as well, a lace headband um, and some cards in there. But today I want to show you how to make the box for this set. So it makes a great gift box, it fits the actual cards, um, normal size cards. I've got a base and a lid. They're both at a square at 10 and 7 8 on all sides. Now we're going to start with the base. So you can either use um, plain cardstock. I'm using plain white cardstock for this. Now just bring it in. Now you need to bring it in to 3 and 3 quarters to get it rolling. So you punch, you feel, now you'd never make, seem to make it along right along the edge. So what I do to get it rolling is I fold, I use my bone folder and I make sure it's all a crisp edge. Right, so that is the first one. Now when you do, a, um, to get a rectangle, you follow this um, score guide here and make sure it matches up. And then you punch, get along. Do the same, follow this score line using the score guide. Okay, so now I've come along and I've scored and punched all four sides. Okay, so what we need to do now is make sure that you've got the length side the furthest from here, but up against there. Now you need to go to five inches and this will give you the box side, the depth. So punch, so you'll see the five inches along here, like that. And now it's time to follow the same principle of going all the way around. So bringing that back in following this new score line to the score guide and going all around the four corners again. So now what you're going to get is you can see it starting to, for, to form. This is going to be the base. Now one other tip that I like to give when making these is you need to fold these in the first fold this second fold, which is here, because we haven't scored on this flap here and it's all going to be tucked in, I fold it again and I use my bone folder and reinforce that fold to create this fold here inside. Because what you're going to do is you're going to use your Tombow Mono Adhesive and get, make that stay there. Okay? So we're going to do that with all four sides again, fold it and reinforce. I like to make sure it's all reinforced because it makes the gluing part so much easier. Like that. And the last one. Okay. So open that up. Now, when you're cutting the flaps, Decide which side you're going to cut. I'm going to cut one way. That's the best way to do it and then you don't lose track. So I cut all four sides. Flip it over. Okay. When it comes to adhering these I like to use Tombow Mono Adhesive because it gives you that little bit of flexibility if you need to move your flaps over to tuck them in. Now uh, when you put a um, mono adhesive it's best to put it on the flaps, fold it up and make sure you get it on the inside of the flaps because when you pull it together you're going to tuck that in and glue it. If you put adhesive on the outside 
you're going to see your flap on the outside so it depends if you like that look I want a flush neat look all around so you won't see anything else but all clean four sides so now it's up to putting Tombow on here Tombow on here on the middle flap and the right on the edge and all along here like that this is the tricky part so folding it up and going down now if you are afraid that you've seen any adhesive that you've gotten along there you can use your adhesive remover which is just your adhesive remover and then give that a rub or you can line the base as well with any designer series paper or plain card stock along now also you need to do the lid now the trick with the lid so it sits on top and doesn't you can easily take it out is you need to make it the scoring an extra one eighth of an inch so we're starting off again with a 10 and 7 8 square designer series paper now last time we scored to get the first score and the ball rolling we scored at three and three quarters we're going to score at three and seven eighths and then we're going to go around all four sides again doing that so now all the so the first score line of your box is scored now you want to make sure you follow the same process this is the, the extra long part and then the short parts on this end you want to measure five and one eighths this time on your scoreboard punch out and now you continue this throughout all around right so here is the inside of the box now we're going to score again by folding the first flap over and then folding it second time so we can get the reinforcement of the flap on the inside okay and then the last one like that so then I tend to hold my card like this and I'm going to go ahead and cut along those marks and so I'm sticking to the same side both top and bottom it is harder to see it when you've got designer series paper so do follow it as you can now I would like to see this pattern paper not the pink side so I'm going to make sure I adhere Tombow adhesive on these flaps here and then on the inside of here all right so now bring that in and doing it on all four sides again I like to start off with the ones that need the flaps to be tucked in okay so that's all now in and it won't take long for the Tombow to really dry but you can see now how that just fits on the top all right so I've got my labels collection my framelits and I have cut a cardstock out so I'm going to make I'm gonna die cut this second largest framelit and put that through the big shot Okay, so I've grabbed the Delicate Designs embossing folder and I'm going to emboss the right towards the bottom of this die cut. Alright, so I've got my Island Indigo Baker's Twine. I'm just going to grab some, just some tape. Go to the back of the cardstock. Now just decide what kind of imprint you want. I'm going to go with this side I'm just going to tape the baker's twine and I'm just going to wrap it around around three or four times I'm just grabbing another piece of tape and adhering that down like that okay so I've got the your lovelies 
and this is a, an old stamp set it's from the celebration I've got three markers here I've got Island Indigo, Melon Mambo and Gumball Green now I'm going to select stamp each one I'm going to I'll um, bring it closer I'm going to color the flowers in Melon Mambo so just using the brush tip end so just the flowers only and then I've got my island indigo and I'm going to do the wording I think you're lovely I'm going to color all the outside and because I'm using this is a brush tip end you can color instead of pointing right down into the stamped image I'm coloring the side of the brush tip and that way I'm covering an even ground as well all right so just putting that aside, grabbing your, I've got a Whisper White cardstock, and then what you need to do is you need to re-moisten the actual stamp. So what you need to do is you need to huff with your mouth, and then you need to stamp and press the image on your cardstock. And just lifting it up. So you can see now the image is all selected stamping in different colours. Okay, so I've used my Deco Labels framelits to cut out the stamped image. I think it needs to be backed on, so I'm going to grab the second um, framelit of the Deco Labels in and I'm going to die cut that to put on top and mount that on. Okay, so I'm just going, I've put some dimensionals behind that one. And I'm going to use my Tombow Mono Adhesive again. And I'm going to use it behind this one here. Stick it right down. And then I'm going to use my Tombow Adhesive behind this one. And just centering that down all right so I've got the designer very vintage buttons I've got my glue dots I'm just going to glue dot in the center of the designer bun button some a bow with some little bit of twine on it And I'm going to put a couple of um, glue dots behind that to stick on the side. I might just so it doesn't go right in, press up behind underneath. All right, so that's my box. You don't have to go too much effort. Um, but yeah, you can decorate the boxes however you like. This one is going to fit in some cards that I've made for a friend. I've got a pack of four that I've made ready to pop in here. So there you go, another box, another lid. Enjoy today's theme card, it's Friday. I think box, it's Friday. But um, something different, but something, you know, I think this will come in handy when you start giving gifts out. And especially if you are like me and like to give cards out, pre-made cards out to friends. All right, thanks for watching everyone. Have a lovely weekend. Bye.